Hi guys, Hannah here and welcome to another mini Zentangle session. Today is week four, day one, and the materials we're going to need are a black micron pen, if you don't have one, a black biro, a black pencil, an earbud and a square piece of card. And for those asking, this is a five centimetre by five centimetre square. If you would like to pause the video, go and get your materials and settle down comfortably, we will begin. Starting with our pencil and our square piece of card, I'm just drawing a little square border just to give us somewhere to start tangling in. I'm picking any of the corners I'm just going to start by drawing a circle and I'm carrying on drawing circles. They're all different sizes but they're all touching each other and this tangle is very nice and very calming and you can start to focus on drawing round circles rather than ovals. And as I'm drawing, I'm concentrating on my breathing, slowing down and making sure that when I draw my circles, they are actually circles as opposed to ovals. And I know that sounds rather odd, but when drawing repetitive circles, they can sometimes morph into ovals without you realizing. And as you can see, I'm just continuing to add circles, making sure that they all are still touching without overlapping and they differ in size. And as I get down to the last part in the corner, just having to think about the size so that I don't put too many in. And for this tangle, that's pretty much it. It's one of the simplest, but it's one of, I believe, the most um, effective. Adding shading, there are a couple of ways we can add shading to this tangle. We can add a, a sideways smile shape and this just enhances it to make it look more round and you'll notice that as I'm doing it I'm not fussing too much over it and I'm only really putting a light pencil mark and they're only going into the circles that are large enough And swapping to our earbud, I'm just gently using the side to smudge, following the same sideways smiley face shape. That's the best way I can describe it. And that's it for this tangle. I'm going to show you some examples that I've done earlier today and here's one and if you notice um, it's exactly the same tangle but just done with different shaped uh, different sized circles and you'll notice that I've spent a lot more time concentrating on putting the shading in 
Here's another alternative where you can see that in between the gaps that are left between the circles, I've just coloured it in, in black. Here's another one where it's two things that I've done differently. One, I haven't shaded the individual circles, I've just shaded around the outside. And two, if you notice inside the circles, in pen I've drawn what looks like, well, again, <laughs> a sideways smiley face. I don't know how better to describe it. And my final um, example is one that I've done where I've coloured in some of the circles and I've left some of the circles blank. I know today's session's been a, a little bit shorter, but there isn't really much more I can show you with regards to circles. Spend some time, enjoy it and slow down when you're doing this. And I look forward to seeing the samples and the artwork that you do. Bye for now.